Okay, MRC, uh, welcome back. Today's Monday, and, and I wanted to kind of dive into a little Bible study with you this week. Um, we're just going to do four. We're going to do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and we're going to look at four psalms that took place that, that David wrote in a time when he was waiting to be king, often fleeing from Saul and dealing with different things in his life. And I just thought it would be special to kind of see where David's heart was in that process that we were talking about on, in the sermon yesterday, that, that process of 22 years of waiting to be this great king of Israel that everybody looks at and wants to be. So today we're going to start with Psalm 7. It's a pretty special one, and, and, and I think it's a really neat psalm. I'm just going to read it to you. We're going to ask a couple questions for you to think about, and, and I hope you have a great Monday. So let's check this out. This is Psalm 7 again. This is David in that time of waiting to be king, in the middle of that process. Check out his heart here. Psalm 7, starting at verse 1. I, I come to you for protection, O Lord my God. Save me from my persecutors. Rescue me. If you don't, they will maul me like a lion, tearing me to pieces with no one to rescue me. O Lord my God, if, if I have done wrong or am guilty of injustice, if I have betrayed a friend or plundered my enemy without cause, then let my enemies capture me. Let them trample me into the ground and drag my honor in the dust. Arise, O Lord, in anger. Stand up against the fury of my enemies. Wake up, my God, and bring justice. Gather the nations before you. Rule over them from on high. The Lord judges the nations. Declare me righteous, O Lord, for I am innocent, O Most High. End the evil of those who are wicked and defend the righteous. For you look deep within the mind and heart, O righteous God. God is my shield, saving those whose hearts are true and right. God is an honest judge. He is, he is angry with the wicked every day. If a person does not repent, God will sharpen his sword. He will bend and string his bow. He will prepare his deadly weapons and shoot his flaming arrows. The wicked conceive evil. They are pregnant with trouble and give birth to lies. They dig a deep pit to trap others, then fall into it themselves. The trouble they make for others backfires on them. The violence they plan falls on their own heads. I will thank the Lord because he is just. I will sing praises to the name of the Lord Most High. This is a beautiful psalm, and I think you're seeing some real challenges here in David's life during this process of waiting to be king. I think um, one of the things for me that really stood out is actually verse 1. And I wanted you to see this, and I love this, and there'll be an image for this that you can grab and put on your phone today. David says, I come to you for protection, O Lord my God. Save me from my persecutors. Rescue me. I love that. But I wanted you to see that. That's where David goes for protection. And one last thing I want to ask you, and maybe you can think about as you reflect on this psalm today. What can you take from this passage as you walk through fear and difficulty in your own life? So I hope you have an awesome day. I hope you take some time now to pray and reflect on this, and we'll see you tomorrow.